guys, it's Abby from Make Life a Runway, and I'm here with my weekly makeup basket. Ooh, you already know. We're going to recap last week's products, pick some new upcoming products, and just talk about makeup for the next, I don't know, 25, 30 minutes, somewhere in there. So if that sounds like something you like to watch, then just keep watching. Here we go. Hey, y'all. How you doing? How's your week been? I hope you are doing well. Thanks for coming back to watch the channel and thanks for all your love on last week's video our mystery makeup box from Lou that was so much fun and I've already pulled a few of those products to start trying the elf cleansing balm because you guys uh, a few of you commented that you really love that one as well and then I think I pulled the hydrolonic acid serum I think I said that wrong but anyways to pull so I'm going to start using those in this upcoming week so I'm really excited about that but I want to talk about what is on my face today I had I had a little issue with my makeup that I had to like wash some of it off and then redo it but I think it still looks really nice and fresh and I like how it ended up. This was a, a really great set of products and the only reason it got messed up and I had to redo it is I put too much of this liquid um, highlighter from Kaleidoscopes. I put too, I think I put too much of this on and then the products, I set it. But I felt like the product just stuck to it. So then everything that went over it was really patchy. So I think e lighter is better like this. Less is more. Um, but that, that's the only reason. It has nothing to do with these other products that I'm about to mention. Because they are so good. Okay. So I have been uh, switching back to. Wait. Let's, let's start with primer. Okay. Let's start with primer. Let's talk primer. Uh, the Milani Bright Side. This doesn't have too much more in it. I'm trying to use it up. So we'll leave it out as our primer for this upcoming week as well. This one is so good. I like it. It's just a very simple, best friend to all products type primer. I'm using one of my Project Pan Use It Up foundations, the Forever Dior. Uh, this is the Dior Forever Skin in 10. They don't make this particular one anymore, but they make like a newer or different version of this. I really like this a lot. Um, it's one where like the lid doesn't twist off and it's like a frosted bottle. So I have no idea how much is left in here. And I had it in my bathroom where I store my makeup, but it has to lay sideways in that drawer. So then like stuff wasn't pumping out and then I was worried about leaving it on my bathroom counter that it would fall to the floor and break and how tragic would that be so I've been leaving it in here and every pump I'm like there's another one coming right there's another one coming so we made it through another week of being able to use it I just think it covers so well it just lays a beautiful foundation to my skin and the other products that go on top of it so that's what I use for the week. For concealer, I use the e.l.f. Hydrating um, Camo Concealer. This one is in Light Peach. I really do like this one. I use this one under my eyes, and then I use this Milani Conceal and Perfect in 125 on the eyelids. I said last week the smell was going off a little bit, but you know what? It's still performing well. Um, <laughs> it's still working okay it's it's still working we're, we're still vibing it's fine but I do really love this concealer but we will put that back for the week and then I this is a so good holy grail ride or die whatever you want to call it I just absolutely love it the Too Faced ethereal was it ethereal light or just ethereal setting powder and translucent um, <laughs> there's still quite a bit in here because I love it so much that I don't want to use it that much. Like, why are we like this? Why are we like this? Um, I loved it. That's what I set my face with. I just think it's such a beautiful powder, but we'll put it back. We'll put it back. Okay. <laughs> we'll put her back for the weekend, pull something else. And then I used, kept out the CoverGirl, uh, Advanced Radiant 110 is my color. I love this powder a lot. I don't remember why I, I... Did I pull this in the video or did I go back and grab it? I don't know, but it ended up back into my 
weekly makeup basket this week and I really like using it as like a finishing powder or a setting powder or just whatever. It, it's very versatile. Um, and then for face products, we just use the tried and true Too Faced Natural palette. Oh, it's so good. So here, here's what we did. We took this bronzer mostly all week. That's the bronzer I'm wearing. Um, and then I kind of alternated which highlighter I use. I used one or the other. I actually didn't dab too much into this darker bronzer this uh, week using it. Usually I do, but I didn't this week. Then I went in with this pink sand color, and that's what I use primarily for blush. But then I took pink wink, and I just kind of tapped it on the apples of my cheek, but not too much. I wanted it to primarily be pink sand because I find without this brighter color using this palette by itself it can kind of mute your face more than you want or just make it one tone so just having even just like a little tap of that pink really adds a beautiful color to the face so I love it and you can see the highlight right there it's just pretty it's good it's really good so we'll put that back and then for eyes, we had pulled two palettes to use, and I did dive into both. We had the Pro Fusion Nudes. This you can get from Walmart, but this is really easy to use. And I primarily just stuck to like the matte colors to put into my crease. I don't even think I actually went into any of the shimmer colors. I'll tell you why in a second, but I did use that. And then this uh, moods palette I use so I would put that first uh, one day I did that first and then I didn't even realize this so this is the front of the palette but if you like flip it this way it's a whole picture how did I just now notice that like this morning like how pretty is that um, <laughs> but here's what the palette looks like so there's some bright colors in here I didn't dive into all the colors in here I did use this pink color a little bit in my crease. I use this one a lot. So I either use that nudes palette or this one. And then I kind of picked random colors to just lightly put in my crease. I find yellow colors are really pretty if you're doing like a really brown neutral crease to kind of put some of that yellow and it just brightens it up a little bit and you can't even really see that it's yellow. But today all I did was this color and I think I tapped a little bit of the pink uh, but let me show you <clears throat> the star of the week look these things have been out for a while and they may not even be out anymore and I remember when they came out everyone was like hyping it and I was I just slept I just slept on it and now that I have it because Angela sent it to me in January I'm like is this suspense killing you? Do you want to know what it is? It's the Essence Melted Chrome Single Eyeshadows. What? What is this black magic? It, it, this one, Zinc About You. Look, I'm coming in. I'm coming in. Okay, we got to swatch it. So this is what it looks like. Okay, yes. It kind of has that moussey type texture. Okay, there it is on my finger. <laughs> Already blown away, I know. There it is swatched. What? How magical is that? And that is what's on my eyelids and what has been on my eyelids every day this week. So good, we're gonna keep it in again this week. You're staying with me, all right, you're staying with me. This other stuff's going back. <laughs> I just talked to it. <laughs> um, and then lips, I've been really into lip oils. That's literally all I've been using is lip oils. Primarily this KAB lip oils, but I also got one, I forget what brand, uh, and Fat Fit Fun last time. And so that one's in my purse I'm using it a lot. This is what's on my lips currently. I just find my lips have been a little bit chapped and that's what I've enjoyed using on them. So that's everything that we had pulled. A little review so you can see what it looks like applied. But let's go ahead and get over to the makeup collection. Okay, here is the makeup collection. Um, where do we want to start? Where do we want to start? Let's start at the bottom. First thing that I want to pull is sitting right here on top. This is First Aid, uh, no, <laughs> Soap and Glory, hello. 
uh, one heck of a blot. I know I have the Milani primer that I'm trying to use up, but this is one that loosened, and I am so excited to try this out. I know that this is gonna be more of a matte look, but I'm here for it. I put so much highlighter on that I am excited to try this out, especially all the hype that it's had over time. So I'm gonna pull this to use in addition to Milani. Also, did you guys see that Urban Decay All Nighter? This is the hydrating one, but did you see they came out with a vitamin C one? I'm intrigued. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm intrigued. If I ended up owning it, I would be okay with it. All right, let's just say that. All right, powders. I kind of enjoyed having a loose powder last week because I had been with the pressed powders for quite a while. So let's pull this one out. It's been a while. This is the Marc Jacobs Finish Line um, loose powder. Wow, what are words? What are words? Um, I haven't used this in quite a while. I believe Lynn sent this. Um, but I'm excited to use it. This is a nice powder, so we'll pull that. We're gonna skip out on pressed powders for the week. We do still have that CoverGirl one that is really scented that I talked about last week that I'm just leaving over there to set my eyes. Um, but otherwise, let's just go ahead and skip this section for the week. All right, so we have concealers here. And let's see what I want to pick out. I have a lot of concealers, but at the same time, I don't. So I kind of rotate through these pretty quickly. But let's use this guy. This is the Conceal and Hydrate from Makeup Revolution. And I would say the color range is kind of random in this line. The one that I have is in C3. And I will say... This color is nice on me, but the foundation version kind of pulls to pink on me. Um, but I love this concealer so much. It truly is hydrating. It's a little thicker. Um, I like it, and I haven't pulled it in a while. So we'll pull that for concealer this week, and we'll put these other ones back. All right, we're going to skip this. I just have some face palettes sitting here because I didn't feel like pulling this out to put them in there. We're going to skip over the eyes. So the last few weeks, I've been pulling eyeshadow palettes that I feel like are spring-inspired, so having purples and pinks and brighter colors. And I know exactly which one I want to pull. I want to pull this ABH Norvina Collection Palette. This was sent over by Angela in January, and I've used it a few times since then. Um, ah, hello! But it is so pretty. And do these colors not scream spring to you? And I like that there are a few neutral colors that you can kind of get a basic look, but you can really go all out with like a pink purple or a brighter red or yellow tones. There are so many options of what you could do with this. This would also be a really fun palette to play like eyeshadow bingo with because it's kind of set up like a bingo board. Um, so I'm excited to play with this. Oh, Oh, I think I had a comment a while back to do a get ready with me using this palette, and I'm happy to do that. I haven't posted the one last week, or that I talked about last week yet, because I've run out of time to edit it, so it will be up. But also, like, my eyebrows look so trash in that video, but I feel like I should just post it, because that's the reality, like, our makeup doesn't always end up super perfect, but my eye look was so pretty. So I've been kind of thinking about it. Um, I think I should just post it, right? Okay, so we pulled an eyeshadow palette last week. So let's um stick with like individual ones. And I haven't pulled this palette in so long. I think I got this palette on sale when it was being clearance out, but it's a bronzer and highlight palette. And I've actually only used it a couple of times since I purchased it because I think, honestly, it just intimidates me <laughs> a little bit. But I just need to dig in and enjoy using it. So we'll pull this for the week. And I'm going to let this be the only bronzer I pull. But I love the regular Park Avenue Princess 
uh, bronzer. I guess the one that's more shimmery. Um, so that's why I was excited to get this. And then I just haven't used it that much. So we need to give that love. Um, I do want to pull this flower. Ah, ah, come back to me. I am so dramatic for like absolutely no reason. This is the flower balm. Uh, excuse you, Morty. Uh, blush and it's in the color cinnamon. I'm going to pull a powder blush to go along with it, but this is one that Lou sent last week and I'm so excited to use it. Let's come back over here and these are some of my blushes and what haven't I pulled from here in a while? Let's see. use the okay I don't believe I've used these blushes yet from Angela and they look pretty similar colors but I don't think they actually are the right color I mean the same color so this is the brand real her and it says not your average powder wear blush and this color is wait, is the color not your average okay the outer packaging is exactly the same on the front and the back. Are these the same color? I swatched them. They're the same. Are they or are they not? <laughs> I really can't tell. Like, I feel like yes, but then I feel like I'm crazy. They're the same, right? That That's the same? I don't know. Let me know. I'm going to pull both of those, but in <laughs> the event, y'all are like, girl, those are exactly the same. Let's just have another one on deck. <laughs> to use um let's see Ooh, I love the LA girl uh just blushing blushes these are so good and this one is in this color is in just playful and it's a really pretty nude blush so I'm excited to use that and it's gonna be pretty similar to these but this is more nude in this or these <laughs> are more pink. Okay, for highlighters, I know you guys can't see me close my eyes, but I'm going to close my eyes and randomly pick something. I kind of know the shapes of these, but I think I'm just going to grab this. Oh, that's not bad. This is MAC Oh Darling. This is a old school highlight has a little bit of a gold coloring to it. Let's do that again. All right, so closing my eyes. Closing my eyes, grabbing this. Oh, I know that's, okay. Okay, what is this one? Oh, that's a nice little pick. This is the Revlon Skin Light Highlight. And this one is in 201 Daybreak. So that's everything we're going to pull. I'm going to put it all together so I can show you the parts of the collection that I haven't talked about or pulled from. All right, so I just leave this LA Girl contour palette in. I like to use this highlight powder. Here is the powder I was talking about from CoverGirl. So I leave that in here. So let's add this in. And the, this palette, I think, is just going to have to sit on my vanity. Then we have eye products here. So I have like a Lancome eyeliner. I have this highlight pencil from um, Ico. This L'Oreal brow pencil. Two brow gels. One from Lime Crime and one from St. Lux. I am using the Fenty mascara as well as this uh, Maybelline Lash Discovery for the bottom lash. I have a random perfume sample in here. We talked about this concealer, so let's add in these other products that we pulled, the primer, the concealer, and then I also have this e.l.f. Wild Brow, or not Wild Brow, the e.l.f. Brow Lift that lives in here. So we'll add in the highlights that we picked, and then the blushes as well. Powder other blush and um the flower beauty and these products that we're leaving in so that's everything that we have in here look at these are so pretty these bling brushes um eyeshadow palette here are some lip products setting sprays we have some from went wild urban decay all nighter and the maybelline glass spray 
I'm rotating between two Project Pan foundations, which we have Milani Conceal and for Perfect and the Dior one that I talked about earlier. So that's everything that we're going to use for the upcoming week. Thank you guys so much for being here, for watching. <sighs> Appreciate y'all. I hope you all have a great week, weekend, whatever, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!